In today's drawing and Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to create flat style illustration with girl walking dog. If you didn't draw before, or if you think that your drawing skill is not good enough to draw sketches, after this tutorial you'll be able to draw and create your own unique illustration with flat style girl and dog for sure. First you will see how to quickly and easily draw human proportions, I will share important and useful tips with you, also I will teach you how to draw dogs, I mean absolutely any dog breed that you want, and after this you will see how to redraw sketch in Illustrator using pen tool, clipping mask, puppet warp tool and blending modes. You are watching TNT tutorials, let's move on! If you want to create hundreds of illustrations, you need to create them fast, and of course you must be sure in each step you make. So the first thing that you must do every time you want to illustrate something is build composition. Do it fast, get inspired with some good illustrations of other artists and try to combine elements from artworks that you like with your own ideas. After this step is done, you are ready to draw. Let's begin with human proportions. Don't measure anything for too long. Train your eye to draw base in seconds. First thing that we will need to measure is head size and where leg will start. To do this, let's draw a line first. It would be ideal to draw another line right in the middle of this one. If not, use eraser and draw it again. Now to measure head size, let's separate this half. These parts should be the same. And let's draw line here and here. It would be ideal if all these parts would be the same. So here is head size. This is the most important step and after this everything will be even faster. Let's draw neck and don't draw straight line like this. Remember that body is not a pillar. Use eraser to clean lines. Separate this half. This line should be right in the middle also. Right here, leg starts. And base is ready. It can be very rough. After you will draw it, use eraser to clean some lines. Check proportions maybe. Maybe you won't like something. This is very easy to do. Just don't be afraid to experiment. Because you always can draw another base shape just in few seconds. You can play with proportions even like this. Maybe you think that character is too skinny. Here is where arm should end. You can take a look right here. These parts are the same. And this part is just a little bigger than half of this part. Measure it quickly. Don't waste your time. Try to do it like so. Use a razor. You can make mistakes. Later, if you will see that you made mistake, you will have a key to measure what you should fix. I usually measure it here. I just imagine that somewhere here we have rib cage, and first line should be somewhere here. So here is another way to do it. To rotate arm, you can draw light circle like this. Then you don't need to draw another circles. You already know proportions of arm. So draw another line just the same as this one. And draw last short line. So I think you get the main idea. Let's move on with leg. You have this rotation point and you only need to draw one line and then another one just the same as this one. You don't even need to draw circle each time you want to rotate leg or arm. Train your eye to draw the same lines. And you can quickly check if you did it correctly. Use eraser.
We're done with human proportions, let's move on with dog. You might think that there's too many dog breeds and you need to draw them all differently. But nothing like that. You only need to learn how to draw base that will work for all dog breeds. All that you will need is to play with proportions. Here is what you should draw. I will draw ground first. Let's draw a line. Neck. Head. Rib cage. And the most important. Draw rectangle here. Then rectangle here. And draw this shape. I will move ground up. Now let's draw a huge rectangle here. Another rectangle here. And final shape. Everything else is a matter of details. Just take reference. Round corners. Clean lines. To quickly draw head, draw a line here, then here, and draw lines like this. You should have one, two, three, four, five lines. Of course you can have more lines, but what I want to say is don't complicate, try to simplify everything. I think you get the main idea, make everything look clean, add details, round some sharp corners, And here you go. You will do absolutely the same when you will draw any other dog. Start with this line. Neck. Head. Rib cage. Huge rectangle here. Another rectangle here. You can see that proportions might be different. But you have the same structure. If you see that you are out of proportions, Simply fix this. Let's round everything. Now let's draw a rectangle here, here, and here you go. You might ask, why do you need to draw these blocks? You need to draw them, because they will help you to understand movement. Also to draw realistic movement, you should watch for reference. Draw dog from reference, and draw movement from reference. Add details, as usual. Of course, this is not full anatomy. But this is a good way to start, good way to understand how to easily draw something that might seem complicated for you. Don't be afraid to erase anything anytime. Add details, play with proportions, fix something if you see that you need to. I usually draw sketches with pencil. You can watch how I draw sketch and add movement to dog on my Instagram page. I hope this will inspire you to create your own illustration. You can also upload it to Instagram, tag me in your Instagram post, ask me to give some feedback. This will inspire me to create tutorials like this, teach you how to draw and show full workflow. Right now let's open sketch in Illustrator. I will show you what to do when sketch is ready. Select print or art and illustration, A4, horizontal orientation and click on create. You can download sketch, reference and colors by the link in the video description. Click here on file, place and find path to downloaded material. I will rename this layer to sketch, create new layer. Rename it to Girl, bring this layer down, select Sketch layer, 
properties and I will change opacity to 40%. Let's lock sketch layer. You can also press Shift plus O and adjust artboards to your artwork. Then simply press V for selection tool. We don't need fill color for now. I will click here on none, select stroke, I'll pick some random color. For now we only need to create outlines for all artwork and only after this we will apply colors. Right now I will show you the most important things that you will need to redraw your artwork. If you want to watch full workflow using pen tool, clipping mask, you can watch tutorial guy on a scooter. When I show you how to use pen tool and clipping mask step by step, show you basics of pen tool first and then advanced methods. Drag handles just a little. You should redraw full shape. Don't redraw shape like this. Later you will redraw this shape also, fill it with color and place it on top of this shape. You might want to move something, change something, so it's better to have full shape instead of shape like this. So redraw full shape and do the same with all other shapes. A for direct selection tool and manipulate handles. You can also move points. To zoom out hold alt and use scroll. If you have some simple shapes, don't complicate, don't use pen tool, M for rectangle tool in this case, draw rectangle and round corners. V for selection tool, rotate it. Later you will hide this part of this object behind this object. A for direct selection tool and adjust handles. Hold alt to make sharp corner. Let's hold Alt again. Don't drag handles too much. It's better to use direct selection tool later. In such cases simply connect points. Just as I did. Hold Alt to make sharp corner and connect these points. L for ellipse tool. A for direct selection tool. We don't need ideal ellipse here. Always use direct selection tool to make everything work for you. Then try to create everything simply with pen tool. Try to delete some points. Maybe you would like result much better without some unnecessary points. Simply redraw objects one by one. In this case we can simply copy this object, rotate it, place it here. Sometimes you can use guides, press Ctrl plus R. Let's move guide here. And I can see that I need to move this object up. To stop drawing line, hold Ctrl, click somewhere and draw a new line. If you don't have handles, select Point, Properties and select Convert Selected Anchor Point to Smooth. Let's create new layer, Lock Girl layer for now, rename this layer to Dog, P for Pen tool, and redraw dog according to reference. A for direct selection tool. Experiment with points, add some points, delete some points, play with handles. And you should always think which shapes to redraw separately. Don't complicate anything, don't stop on some small objects like this for too long. Just draw simple line, then A for direct selection tool, manipulate handles. Also you should not have too many points. I will try to delete this one and we have only three points in this line. Let's select this line, P for pen tool, add point here, move it just a little, hold alt, create new layer and rename it to background, P for pen tool again and simply redraw this object according to reference. Don't forget to use direct selection tool. In case if you want to change arm position or legs position, select arm, press Ctrl plus G to group all these objects, then pick Puppet Warp tool. If you can't see it here, just click here Edit Toolbar and you will find it in this menu. Drag it to this panel. After you will select it, you will be able to add more points. But in this case I don't need as much. And you can move arm 
or any other object like this. Also, you can simply rotate it. Just select this group, rotate tool, hold out, click on this point, preview, and rotate arm. Let's group these objects. Puppet Warp tool. Let's delete this point. This one also. You can add point here. You can rotate these points. I think you get the main idea. And don't forget that you can simply rotate this object. Rotate tool. Hold Alt. Let's click on this point. Preview. Talking about clipping mask, if you want to add some shadow here, let's pick darker color, P for pen tool. We have this object. You can select these two objects, Shift plus M for shape builder, hold Alt, and delete unnecessary part. Let's bring this object up. You can also adjust simply dark color or black color, properties, opacity, multiply and decrease opacity. In this case you don't need to adjust any colors, you can simply adjust black color everywhere, you will see it better here. Opacity, multiply, you can see that you can easily adjust shadows using black color and multiply blending mode. I would not recommend you to create shadows like this, so I will delete it. You can quickly create object, then pick this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, to put copy on top of this object, select them both and press Ctrl plus 7 or simply right click, make clipping mask. Let's bring this object up. After this, A for direct selection tool, pick needed object and edit it as you want. Multiply, let's change opacity. In this case you don't need to cut or fit anything, you can freely change shape anytime. All that you will do is play with shadow. And I would recommend you to use clipping mask everywhere. This is very simple. Select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select this object, right click, make clipping mask, A for direct selection tool, pick this object, opacity, multiply, decrease opacity, manage layers. Sometimes multiply won't work well for you, so in this case you might want to use color burn, then open color panel and try to adjust some different color. A for direct selection tool and play with shadows. Right here pretty much the same. I'll pick this dark color, P for pen tool, swap fill and stroke. Select this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V, select this line, right click, make clipping mask, and then adjust this line. You can use Width tool, Shift plus W, and make line thinner, like so. If you don't want sharp edges, properties, stroke, round cap. And don't forget that you can use Width tool again. Then you can create some objects and put in existing clipping mask. For example, let's create nose, Ctrl C, you can delete it, then double click on this clipping mask, Ctrl Shift V, and you have this object inside of clip group. All that you need is play with proportions and overall look. I hope I inspired you to create your own illustration with walking flat style girl and dog. Upload your illustration to Instagram and tag me in your Instagram post. This will inspire me to share more with you and teach you to draw. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.